Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dave at TheUltimateMixdown.com. Today, we're going to take a look at Reaper themes. First thing you want to do is open a new browser window and navigate to Reaper.fm. And then under the Resources, click on the Themes link. And here are all of the available themes. When you find a theme that you're interested in, you can click on it for more information. Here you can take a look at the description as well as some screenshots to show you what the theme looks like after installation. Once you find a theme that you're interested in, you can click on the download link. Once the theme is downloaded, you can click on the zip file and that will automatically install the theme to your Reaper. In some cases, you may need to manually install the theme. So to do that, you would open your zip file and then you would find the theme in the zip file. You would navigate to your computer your hard drive, users, your username, library, application support, scroll down to Reaper, and then under color themes should be where all your themes are located. So if you need to make any edits or you need to add any additional themes manually, you can copy them right here. Now when I opened that zip file, it automatically installed and changed the theme of my Reaper session. So instead of it being the default theme, now you can see that this is the iLogic Pro uh, V2. The way to select between different themes is to go to Options, Themes. So initially I had the default theme. Some other fun themes that I was playing around with are the Pro Tools themes. So there's a Pro Tools Classic that came out recently. And there's also a Pro Tools Dark. So I was taking a look at that. The theme that I've been loving lately is the iLogic V2 Public. This just seems like a really nice looking and clean theme to work with. So once you select your theme, you're ready to go. If you found this video useful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. 